All right, let's learn how to render our Stormworks creations in 3D using Blender. And this time I've, uh, <laughs> I've done some homework, so I know how Blender works. All right, so you've opened up your creation in the, uh, the editor. We hit F11. That opens up this uh, export 3D model thing. Let's uh, name this Missile 01. Save that, save to this location. We can get there quickly by, let's see, typing percent app data percent into explorer and we're gonna scroll down and find our stormworks folder and then the export folder and that's where our model export is we're going to copy that location and at this point i could probably close stormworks we'll just minimize it um and then let's open blender blender pop open blender i'm just going to delete everything out of the scene since we'll uh we'll add some stuff back in, in a sec so file imports PLY we're going to paste in our location and import the file and that's our model it comes in a little goofed we're just going to do some quick changes here we're going to uh, flip its x-axis negative one the scale and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees and sort of align it on the plane here the ground grid here somewhat there that's pretty good what I'll do is just, um, I'll just zero out the transforms real quick by going to Object, Apply, All Transformations, and I'll, I'll zero those out. Um, so, we've got our model in, and we can render it as a grayscale. We've got to kind of add some of those vertex uh, colors back. So, we're going to pop into the Shading tab. We're going to quickly add a shader. So, Shading tab, New, Material 1. And in here, I'm going to hit tab and type vertex color, boop, and then link the color to the base color. That'll add that. And then this is a good time to change some of its specularity. So it's like a, uh, material properties are going to be a little metallic. We get a little more specular to kind of give it some shininess. That'd be kind of cool. All right. Yeah. So it kind of reacts to uh, the lighting a little bit more interesting than like a flat shader um let's pop to the modeling tab and let's pose this a little bit more for a thumbnail so what i'll do is i'm gonna go to x-ray mode up here and just delete this one we don't need delete faces oh okay I'll delete these just delete all this stuff oh man why are these vertexes still here delete vertices all right Delete that stuff, um, and we're just going to do a quick um, uh, select all of this stuff in face mode. And uh, the geometry comes in pretty junky, so we're going to clean up some of these uh, laminar faces that have like multiple vertices and touching faces and stuff like that by just doing a tab and search for merge by distance. So it'll merge some stuff, and that'll make it easier to do this next bit where we um grab the top of the missile and using the up arrow keys up and down is select more select less so we're going to select more select more and then use um control right click drag to deselect some of these and, and i'm not going to go through like how to use blender 3d software in this tutorial this is just going to be real quick um there are a million you know tutorials out there that will teach you how to use blender better than this so I'm not even going to spend the time. This just assumes you know some 3D basic stuff. Um, so we've got that selected. Tab. We're going to search for separate. Separate selection. That's created a separate mesh with just our missile. And we'll go back to layout. I'm sure I don't have to keep going back and forth between these. There's probably hotkeys, but um, whatever. This is not my uh, regular software here. Um, and I don't remember how to center the pivot. So we're just going to you know, rough it here. That's good enough. All right, cool. Perfect for a thumbnail. All right, let's go and create some, uh, create a lighting solution, create a, uh, a camera. So we'll start with a camera. Um, tab, camera, add. I'm gonna drag it out over here. And let's go to right click and we'll set this as active and kind of suck us into this. And then you notice this is frozen. Um, I don't know what you know how to 
bring back normal navigation to this like you would have in like my r 3 ds Mac or one of those, but you can go to the view navigate and walk navigate and now we have like a like a Unreal Engine style uh, navigate controls like WASD shift for sprinting and then QE for um, for moving up and down. So let's get kind of a cool thumbnail y sort of pick here. That's pretty good. We'll hit, uh, I think, left mouse, yeah, to freeze it. Um, so that's a good frame. And then our lighting solution, we're going to use uh, an HDRI image. So instead of building out like a three point lighting solution with like a key light and, you know, uh, fill light and that kind of stuff, um, using um, like lighting and like these uh, like area lights and spots and stuff, we're just going to use a, a spherical image map to light it and just easy breezy, give it some reflections and that kind of stuff. So. Uh, to do that, I think we'll pop into the shading tab. We'll change this focus from object to world. This is our world background, and then we will hit tab and go to and type an environment texture. That pulls that up. We'll link this to the color in the background, and then we need to go grab an HDRI. So. We can Google search it, or we can use this awesome site, Polyhaven, free. There's a ton of HDRIs, so you can browse HDRIs. And there's a bunch to choose from. Uh, I think I already, oh, no, I don't I have one selected. So let's uh, let's find one real fast, this meadow. That'll probably make it kind of green. Uh, this looks a little more neutral. I kind of like that. Um, 4K, we probably only really need like a 1K, but... Um, Whatever, we'll grab it in two just in case. Two, we don't need an XR. A, a EXR? Uh, sure, whatever. All right, we're going to grab this. Let's uh, save this to our Stormworks project folder that we have. Source images, sure. Um, we'll save that in there. Copy the link. So now we're going to open our environment texture to that location and import our Canon 2K scene so we've got an hdri in there oh, i guess that's just, that's not that's not showing the hdri <laughs> that's just a mirror ball for something else um all right what else do we want to uh we've already lined it up so we should it should be there i think we're ready to render pretty much there might be some settings to change for the rendering um we want to switch our engine to cycles if you've got a nice beefy cpu or gpu uh, it'd be nice to switch it to GPU compute. If you go that route, I think you might have to go into edit preferences and select um, if this is none or OpenCL one of these. Uh, I'm using CUDA, so select that. Select your graphics cards and, and stuff you're gonna be rendering with. Close that out. And path tracing, let's see. We want to change some of these. Uh, so our sampling rates, um, if it's really noisy with your first test renders, um, that's what you've got to increase. So I think like 1024 maybe um, you could add some denoising. That might help a little bit. And then we're just going to double check to make sure in film that transparency is checked so it doesn't render the background of the HDRI or we'll have like our missile in like a field of grass or rocks or something like that. Um, so that will just render the missile itself in this case or just the model itself. And then we can use that in Photoshop. It'll, it'll come in with like a transparency layer. Um, so I think we're all set. Um, we can go to uh, render, render image, or hit uh, control, enter. And let's see if that's done the job. All right, yeah. It's totally working. Let's see if it gets out some of that noise. I think that's good enough. Um, you can see these are kind of staying there a little bit longer. Yeah, I like that. It's not too noisy. If we wanted to brighten it up a little bit, um, we can, I think we can pop back into the shading tab and increase the background strength by like a little bit, 1.2. Let's see if that makes it a little, control enter, a little brighter. Yeah, I think that did it. <laughs> Maybe, it's all right. We can always bring it into Photoshop and mess with the levels later. I think that did the trick, though. All right, we're going to wait for this to finish. 
and then we will go to image save as we want to make sure rgba is selected for the alpha and we will pop into our not our source images folder our images folder to render this out so let's call it missile one blender sure and save image as and now if we jump into that stormworks project folder images there it is, Missile One Blender. There's your image, so you can bring it into Photoshop. You can create a thumbnail out of it, do all that stuff. You've got some, you know, some cool ambient occlusion, some reflections, and all that. You can play with uh, material properties, and then there's a uh, there's an awesome tutorial out there that someone wrote on the workshop that shows how to um, use a Blender script to uh, select, you know, any one material, like glass, for example, that comes in like gray or something, and uh, and select everything that's that material on the scene and you know apply a different shader to it like a glass shader um, so definitely uh, search for that in the workshop um, you'll find there's a few out there that are pretty good but this is just a quickie tutorial on how to get some basic 3d renders out in like 15 minutes or less all right hopefully that helps